PowerPoint allows you to add a live Power BI report to a slide using the Power BI add-in. The problem is, if you want to share your PowerPoint with someone else, both you and the other person need to have a Power BI paid account. But there's actually a way you can share your Power BI report in PowerPoint using a Power BI free account. And in this video, I'm going to show you how. Here in the Power BI service, I have a Power BI free account. I'm logged in with my Microsoft 365 user account named Brandon Michaels at brandonmichaels22.onmicrosoft.com. And here in PowerPoint, I'm logged in with the same user account. One way to add your Power BI report to a slide is to go to the insert menu. And if you have the Power BI button on your menu bar, you can click that. If not, you'll need to click on get add-ins and search for Power BI. Look for the result named Microsoft Power BI and click the add button, then click continue. Go back to the Power BI service and copy the report URL from your browser's address bar. Then in PowerPoint, paste it in the text box and click the insert button. Here, you have a fully functional Power BI report inside of PowerPoint. Now this works if you only want to view the Power BI report within your own instance of PowerPoint. But what if you want to share your PowerPoint file with someone else? Let's try it. Save the file, close it, then sign out. Now sign into PowerPoint with a different user account. Here I'm signing in with another Microsoft 365 account named Brandon Michaels at brmteams1.onmicrosoft.com. You can see this user also has a Power BI free account. When you open the file, PowerPoint asks you if you want to trust the add-in. The reason is that add-ins are tied to the user account, and the second user doesn't have the Power BI add-in installed yet. If you click Trust this add-in, PowerPoint installs the Power BI add-in, but then you'll see an error message saying you can't access this report. And if you click Request Access, you'll see another error saying something went wrong. Clicking Reload will send you back to the Can't Access This Report screen. This is exactly what happens if you try to share a PowerPoint file that uses the Power BI add-in when you have a Power BI free account. The good news is that there's a workaround. First, add another slide. Then go back to Get Add-ins, search for Web, then click Web Viewer. You can see this is an official Microsoft add-in. Click the Add button, then click the I Agree checkbox and click Continue. That will automatically add the Web Viewer to the current slide. Now go back to the Power BI service, go to File, then Embed Report and choose Publish to Web. If you don't have this feature enabled, you'll see this screen saying that you need to enable embedding. To enable, click the settings gear icon in the upper right, then choose admin portal. Your account needs to be an admin account and you need to be in tenant settings. Scroll down to export and sharing settings and in the publish to web section, choose allow existing and new codes, then click the apply button. Once you've made that change, you can go back to the report, click file, embed report and publish to web. You'll see a notice from Microsoft saying you're not allowed to share this internally in an email, over an internal network or on an internet site and another notice saying that what you share will be public. So keep in mind that anyone with a link to your report will be able to view it, and don't use this for any data you wouldn't want to share publicly. After clicking through these messages, click the copy button, then switch back to PowerPoint and paste the URL into the box. If you click the preview button, nothing will happen. That's because you need to remove the HTTPS from the beginning of the URL. Once you've done that, click the preview button, and your Power BI report now appears in your PowerPoint slide. As you can see, this is a fully interactive version of your Power BI report. Next, save the file, close it, and log out. And now, log back in with another account and open the file. Again, PowerPoint will show the message asking to trust the add-in if the user doesn't have the Web Viewer add-in installed. Click Trust This Add-in, then click the Preview button. You'll see you've successfully shared your Power BI report in PowerPoint with another Power BI free user. Now, another useful way to share your Power BI report is by using Microsoft Teams. And in this video, I show you how to use a Power BI free account to share your report in Teams. I'll see you over there.